Hey Garden Fam, I hope you are doing well. It's your host Raven Epiphany and I'm back with another quick video. And so today I wanted to talk about placing your focus on the right things, especially as you are setting yourself to build your vision or, you know, to, you know, develop your vision and then to go out there and to build it. You know, it already takes a lot of faith to envision things that you have yet to see or have yet to actually do. And so in order to do that, your focus must be in the right place. And then as you're going forth to actually run with the vision and do it, to actually, you know, go after your dream, go after the thing that God has called you to do, it requires faith. And so in order for you not to be tripped up, you know, um, by the things that you see, your focus needs to be in the right place. And so I want to take this from a scripture, um, Philippians 4, 8, which is a pretty popular scripture. So you've probably heard it before, but it says, finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And so that's so important as you are dreaming and as you are going after the dream, as you are, you know, sitting with God to develop a vision and then you're going after that vision. God often, if we will allow him to, will give us big vision and big dreams. You know, he will allow us ourselves to dream big. And, you know, in order to do that, you cannot be limited by, you know, the negativity you've seen with your own eyes. You can't be limited by quote unquote reality. You know, I was talking to a friend earlier today and friend, I'm sorry to put your business out there like that, but I'm trying to help the people, you know, and a lot of times this person likes to just say that, you know, they're looking at statistics and things like that because that's reality. And, you know, what I, what we often, you know, have a little tussle about, not an argument, but, you know, how the tussle about is just, you know, that's reality because you're calling it reality, but there are multiple realities that can exist at one time. Faith is a space of reality. You can look at statistics and know that God says something different and what God said be a reality based on faith. You can also have a reality based on the things that you notice, while there's also a reality that you have yet to see because you're not focused on that. For example, this is the example I gave when we were having our conversation. We know that if you were to say you want a certain car, right? Maybe there has always been the same amount of the same type of car on the road, but all of a sudden you will start to notice so many of that car. So I said a Kia Soul because, you know, that's my car or whatever. So I said, you know, let's say you are going to buy a Kia Soul. Now, granted, there has been the same amount of people that had a Kia Soul before you went to go buy one. But now all of a sudden when you leave that place, there's like a million Kia Souls on the road, at least to you, right? That has been the fact the whole time, right? But because your focus is now on that, you're able to see all of that which has been existing. That st can still happen when you're focused on the things that are pure and lovely and of good report, etc. When you're not focused on these things, they still exist. They're still there. Your focus is not on them, so they're not readily available to you. And so when you make an intentional make an intentional effort to focus on the things that are listed here, things that are just, things that are noble, things that are pure, things that are lovely, of good report, of virtue, you will begin to see the possibilities and, and the reality and realities that align with that which you are focusing on. And that's so important as you, you know, venture to allow yourself to dream big and to actually go forth and build that dream. If you, you know, focus on how many other people failed at it, if you focus on what everyone else is doing that seems to tell you that your dream isn't possible, if you focus on what the devil is doing, which a lot of people like to do, if you focus on limitations and lack and other things that are not any of these things, not pure, lovely, noble, etc., you know, it's going to cloud your vision. It's going to limit your ability to envision and it's going to limit, you know, it's going to put extra weight on you that holds you back from running as fast towards the vision as you can. And granted, when I say running as fast towards it, obviously we know we move at whatever pace we're meant to, but you guys get what I'm saying. You know, it's going to be an additional weight that does not need to be there. And so as you're venturing to do something by faith, as you're venturing to do something you've never seen done before or that you've seen done, but only by a selective few people, you need to focus on the positive possibilities, not in a mm, way that pretends like the other side does not exist, 
But when you focus on the other side so much, what you focus on is what you head towards. What you focus on is what in you, is what is in front of you, you know, readily. And so, you know, if you're focused so much on what not to do, if you're focused so much on what has failed, if you're focused so much on, you know, just the fact that nobody else has been successful, you know, your chances of being successful yourself minimize a bit. It doesn't mean that you won't be, but it means that you're not even focused on the path that you're actually trying to go on. You're too busy looking around trying to avoid a path. Put your energy towards what, you know, you're trying to go towards, which are things that are noble, pure, lovely, of good report, etc. so that you can stay on that path, so that you can stay focused on what is ahead. And, you know, as you are not even sure what that path is going to be, you can have your mind be open to more possibilities because you're not limiting them by negativity you're not limiting them by so-called realism which oftentimes you know really is cynicism but we won't even get into that focus your thoughts focus your focus on the things that will actually help you to get where you're going and yeah I would admit that when you are building a dream it may you know require just a bit of delusion <laughs> you know and when I say delusion I just mean you can't you can't always think and, and be in the space of like logic and knowing every single detail and you know that type of thing there's logic that goes into it there's definitely thought that goes into it etc but building a dream and building something that god gave you to do by faith it requires that delusion of you know expecting and knowing that you know faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen having that evidence of things you really don't see and choosing to, purposely choosing to ignore what says otherwise and focus on what is pure, lovely, of good report, of virtue, uh, you know, etc. that is outlined in this scripture. And, you know, that may sound a little bit fluffy to some people who like to hang on to their realism and their statistics and their, you know, whatever else because it makes them feel grounded. But um, if you want to dream, you need to soar. So, you know, there's a part of you that got to let go of even that part of you that wants to feel grounded in every moment. Dreaming takes you up. Dreaming takes you higher. Going after that dream is going to require you to elevate. So even that part of you that feels like, you know, I just want to stay grounded in this. You gonna stay grounded. All right. And that dream is going to stay floating up there. And so you can make the choice. But I want to encourage you to focus on those things that actually get you to where you are trying to go, which is, again, things that are true. And again, true sometimes you know contradicts the facts that you see before you you know um things that are noble things that are just things that are pure things that are lovely things that are of good report and that are of virtue and that are praiseworthy focus your intention your thoughts there and you have to intentionally cancel out and you know close out and quiet the thoughts that say otherwise and even okay the last thing i'm gonna say too is you have to protect your, you know, uh, uh, theoretical baby, meaning your dream, you have to protect it, meaning that when you're setting your mind to focus on the things that were just outlined here, you need to protect your space from people that are trying to speak opposite things. And that doesn't mean that you have to cut everybody off or anything like that. It does mean that you have to intentionally place yourself in spaces where people are speaking these things outlined here and or if you have people that are speaking otherwise that you say to them hey we're not doing that over here we can't speak that over this you know this baby this dream that i'm building this you know vision that i've already you know that me and god have already set out and that i've written we can't speak those things over here you know but you got to protect it too so you can't control other people's thoughts but you can can you can set boundaries for what you allow in your space you can set boundaries for what you allow people to speak over you and speak about you and when you can't you know maybe it's a stranger or something like that and it's not necessarily worth it you need to in your head make sure you throw away those thoughts and you know, that you cancel them out with those things that are lovely pure etc and so I hope that is helpful to somebody. I pray that you guys allow yourself to dream with God, to envision with God, and to go after those things and to throw off the weights that would, you know, hold you back, that would cause you to go slower and, and uh, um, make the journey harder than it needs to be, including pessimism, including cynicism, and quote unquote realism. No, we need to live in that faith grace zone and move forward. And so I love you guys munches. I hope that you have a healthy and wholesome evening and I will talk to you soon. God willing.